what's up guys i just wanted to talk about a architecture to building software that you know a lot of people don't understand this is really important if you want to build apps if you want to build websites if you want to build any software where there's a user interacting with some kind of user interface and then maybe data gets stored or something like that this is an architecture that you should be familiar with understanding this is essential to you know being having good practice good organization knowing how to build the software correctly if you're going to go with this approach i think i think understanding this entire concept before you actually build the software is very important and a lot of people that i meet i build websites built a ton of web apps they don't understand this they tell me they've built web apps but like what i think that they do is they just look up the next step to building something every time but they don't understand the big picture and if you don't understand the big picture that's not good i think you definitely should understand this like no matter what if you're in tech pretty much super important it's used like almost across the board this is how it works it, client server architecture is basically you have a user you have some kind of user interface, let's say it's a website or an iPhone or something like that, and you know the website can be coded HTML, CSS, JavaScript, iPhone, maybe Swift, maybe you have an Android or something, uh, and it was Java or whatever you technologies you use. The user's interacting with these, right? And you have programming languages, you have, you know, in HTML, you have like input tags or something like that. It takes input from the user. These, these devices will take input from the user. What happens to the input? So the input, maybe the user's like, I'm creating, a, you know, it says create an account on Facebook. So the user's like, okay, they type in their email and their password, right? What happens to the email and password? Well, the email and password from these devices, it gets sent through requests, right? So there's these defined requests, like maybe Ajax or HTTP requests, and the data gets sent now to a server side, server side programming languages, a web server or some kind of server that will handle this data. So now we have the user email and password and it is sent through requests to the server. Now usually what you have is an API or something like that, and these are defined routes that you can send requests to that do things based on the URL. So, you know, maybe you have slash register defined in your API and you're like, okay, I have the username, I have the password. So you take the username and the password and you're like, okay, it's hooked up to a database as well. You know, maybe the database is SQL, NoSQL or whatever. And we're like, okay, we're gonna store this user in our database. So the users get stored in the database successfully. The database is like, okay, there you go, success. Then you send a 200 back here and then it gets sent all the way back here. And then you say, you maybe say a message to the user like, hey, your account was successfully created and then you log them in or something like that. This is how it works across the board, not just for user login, that's just an example, but for all data, like anything that the user is interacting with, if you need to store it in a database or if you need to do some kind of server side data manipulation or something like that, you're gonna send it over here and then send the result back. This is how you should develop software for you know simple web apps, simple applications. They're not static, but they have simple you know server side programming going on. A lot of people just don't understand. You know, basically the client is the front end. You know, front end the stuff that people see, and the back end is the server side stuff, API, database, big library manipulation, web sockets, and stuff like that. On this side, it's very straightforward. You know, you could have front end frameworks you know react ember angular stuff like that or you know mobile frameworks and stuff like that and you basically just make requests back and forth simple communication just back and forth back and forth this, this is the front end this is the back end people don't understand that they need to understand that once you understand that when you go into building a project and know that this is how you're going to structure things you're much more organized in your mind you know what you're doing a lot better. The code comes out better, the end product comes out better. Having it in your mind from the beginning, instead of just looking up, what's the next step to building a website? What's the next step after this? Okay, I did this, now what's the next step? It's gonna come out a lot cleaner and you're gonna be able to explain it and know what's going on at every stage. If you have an error here, you're gonna be like, 
where's the error? Like, you know, you're not going to be confused about client or server. If it's happening within your front end code, then you're going to know, okay, the error is in the front end code. You usually do your debugging in like some kind of console on maybe like a browser console or something like that for front end. In the back end, you have a server running maybe on your computer in Python, Java, or Node.js or something. You're going to see that in your terminal or something like that. So pretty clear once you understand the difference between front end and back end and how they communicate for a simple architecture like this, how to build software and what kind of softwares you can build with this architecture. And it's just really solidifies your understanding of building software in general. This is one of the most basic things to understand, basic architectures. So there's a lot more that goes into that you can build on on top of this, but I think understanding, a lot of people don't understand this. They don't teach you it in my web programming class. They didn't talk about this at all. I think it's one of the most important things. Hopefully you guys understand it. Let me know, message me if you don't understand, uh, comment if you don't understand. Thanks for watching. Yeah, that's it, so see ya.